was popping, 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 was was good, everybody? Yo, so I gotta tell y'all, I gotta tell y'all that I just did these role play videos, right? For anybody who doesn't know, hi, what's up? If you ain't familiar with my channel, I'm happy to see you. I'm Yashua. I love you, even though I don't know you, and I'm very grateful that you're here. Um, I do a lot of different kind of videos, um, but, you know, one of my fortes here is uh, role plays, and I just did one that was talking about friends. It was like friends going to lovers, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you got a friend, I've been friends for whatever, however long, and you like them, and you think about, you know, pushing that envelope a little bit and seeing if they're feeling the same way. So you take that leap and you see what happens. You never know how it could happen. But I feel like, for one thing, people find these kind of things, like, not taboo, but just, like, uncomfortable because they don't know how to approach things, you know? They don't know how to come at the friend in a way that can protect the, like, relationship that they've built and, like, you know what I mean, not destroy, at least completely, like, <laughs> what, what they got going on, you know, just because, um, but, wow, that's totally understandable, there is definitely a way, there's a way to go about anything, and I feel like anything that you want in this life it's going to be really hard for you to get it without actually trying to get it, going after it and putting yourself out there for it, becoming vulnerable, whether it's mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, to reach a higher level, you have to be willing to take some risk. And so, you know, no different with a girl um, or a boy or whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but so I did this little scenario wherein I ask or, you know, talk to my friend who I'm feeling and we had this conversation. Now, the interesting thing, though, for me, I think, is the fact that I did two and one of which she likes the idea and goes along with it, the other of which she doesn't. And what do you do? In either scenario, you know, I don't know what y'all do. I don't know what y'all do, but I know what I would do. <laughs> so I just acted it out how I would act it out. And um, I felt like it was a good thing. It was important to talk about because I know there are some people in this situation. And here's my take on things. If you actually really, you know, care about the person and... You think there's some potential for something great, you know, for something great in the future, then I, I say, you know, go for it. All, I'm all for it. Like, there's no sense in living with regrets. And if you think not seeing what's up on this level might be something that you regret, meaning this person is somebody you could see both of you being happy with, you know, I say go for it, yo. I mean, I used to tell my little brother all the time back when we were, you know, he was, how old was he at that time? Probably 12 or something like that. And he was telling me about how he's shy to talk to girls. And I told him, like, it's okay to talk to anybody you want to. And the thing is, the worst that can happen is she says no. And then you're in the same boat that you're in right now. You know, you're no worse off if she says no. Like, you just move on, you know? And it's, you know, it could really be, you know, the same kind of thing on the friendship level. You, you pique the interest or gauge the interest of the person. And I think just being upfront and honest in any situation is going to be way more fruitful for you, for them, them meaning anybody else involved in the scenario, because there is nothing like an, a relationship built on honesty. Friendship relationship, business relationship, any kind of relationship. If it's built on something solid, 
then you can build whatever you want on top of it and it's going to be okay. It's going to remain unshaken, you know. Um, so my, my opinion is do not harness your feelings. Like don't, don't shy away from your heart if it's telling you something like that, you know. I mean, if you don't, this is the kicker though. This is the real... Dazzle, dazzle, important stuff right here, here, here. <laughs> this is the real important stuff, for real. It's if you don't really see a very strong, good possibility of a very strong, good future with that person, then it really may not be worth it. It really might not. Because a friendship can last for a long time, especially if they're a solid person. I mean, for me, only if they're a solid person. But a friendship can last for a very long time, you know. But <sighs> relationships don't always last that way, you know. So I would be sure that is something that you really want to partake in or want to see what's up with because you know there is that chance if it goes sideways then you all end up at odds and then you don't have a friend and that friend anymore you don't have you know that comfort and that reliability or that whatever with that person you know and so I would just say just like with everything else in life especially with regards to things that you really want Follow your heart. And I know it sounds exceedingly simple, but it really is exceedingly simple. Your heart won't lie to you. Your intuition will tell you what your mind logic can't dictate, can't make sense of. It's just a feeling and you know it when you know it. It's your first mind on things and it's always right. And you just got to be willing to tap in and listen because it's tapped into something much more powerful than you something that goes way beyond your physical body is is spiritual and it's in the core of who you are which is automatically and always connected with everything else whether we realize it or not we're connected with everything else if you're being true to that core, you are utilizing a power that is much grander than your own and understanding and a wisdom much grander than your own or my own. And so don't even listen to me. Don't consider what I'm talking about right now, especially if it sounds like jazz. <laughs> Well, even though jazz is nice, I don't want to make that comparison. But <laughs> trust yourself is what I'm saying here. Believe, 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 believe in yourself. You know, you know, rather you think you know or not, you know it's going to be in here. You just got to listen. You got to hear it. And especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Take it into consideration. Don't live with regret. Regret isn't fun. <laughs> regret isn't fun. But, I mean, that could be anything. It could be your desire to, I mean, I don't know. Literally, it could be anything, you know what I mean? Whatever it is that you want to do, I think that you should do that very thing. And then live with no regrets on the other half of it. As long as that thing doesn't involve hurting other people intentionally or, like, hurting yourself, I fully say do it. And you can do it. And I'm proud of you for doing it. So that's just my take. 
And I really wanted to just say that because if you're somebody who's seen either of the role plays, I would love to know what you think about them. For one, first of all, tap in on the comments right now. Get with me. I'm going to get right back with you. I love communicating with my people, and I'm so happy that you're here, and I love you, and I thank you for being a part of my journey and my community and my family, and I invite you and welcome you with all of this light and love and positive energy that I can offer to you, and I hope that this is the energy that you carry with you after you watch this video, and that being said, tap in with me, let me know what you think, and um I do hope that those videos touch you in some kind of way, or at least if you're somebody who's, you know, squeamish, not squeamish, that's not the right word, but like nervous or subconscious or, you know, just kind of afraid to step out of your comfort zone, you know, out of that box, then it might be something for you just to be able to see that you can do whatever it is that scares you to do it can be done and you can totally be yourself while doing it i'll just be in myself completely like i don't know exactly how y'all would approach these situations i just know how i would approach the situation and so i just acted it out how i would do it i would just be myself completely rather in, in that scenario rather or not the girl was interested in you know, responding or rescinding the feelings that I'm giving to her, um, it would be, you know, solid me, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, wh whatever the case, however it turned out. And I think that should be the case for you, too, with a relationship goal, you know, a goal of the heart or a financial goal. You put yourself out there, you try, rather or not, it sticks. It's okay. You got a lot more tries ahead of you as long as you're still breathing. And that's the same for any other thing that you desire in this world. You can do it. You can have it. You can conquer it. You just have to believe in yourself. Listen to yourself along the way. Just listen to yourself along the way. That's all I can say. And it's the best thing for me to say. Be the boxer. You know what I mean? In the ring, just flowing and not thinking, you know, just kind of going with the motions of things and listening to his intuition on what to do next. That's how you get the greatest result. Become Ali, baby. <laughs> I love y'all. Always.